Hey guys, this is Ray with the education team from Sprilly Do's Kit Club, and I am going to share with you the medium kit that came in the Autumn Rose kit for November 2013. We had some requests on some different things to do for videos, and so this is one of them. So the first thing I want to talk about is Paper Soft, because I did a very comprehensive video a while back about Paper Soft, and I believe I titled it why you need paper soft so go back on the youtube channel and if you think you need to know how to use this check that out because it's going to give you lots of really good ideas so i'm not going to go into detail about this i will show you one thing that i did with it but i'll show you that in a sec so the next thing we have in the mediums kit is some embossing powder by lindy's stamp gang and that's oakley olive and this is the Viva Decor Craco paint, and it's in Blackberry. And then there's the Heidi Swap Color Shine in white. So first I'm going to show you some things that I did with the embossing powder, because I don't think that you need to know too much about this. Embossing powder is pretty straightforward, and I think most people have used it before. The great thing about this is that it matches the kit perfectly. It's so pretty. I used this on the little leaves that came in the main kit, the little wood prima leaves. And here it is. On this layout right here, all I did was I used some embossing ink and then I just embossed this on here with the heat gun. So in order to use the embossing powder, just in case you haven't used it before, you're gonna need two things. You're gonna need this, which is a embossing ink pad, or Anything that has that stuff in there, the embossing material, sometimes it's called perfect medium if you get it from Ranger. And so this is actually a little brush, so if you wanted to, you could draw or doodle or fill stuff in and then put some of that embossing powder on there. And then you shake off the excess and you use a heat tool. And that's all there is to it. So I just want to show you some things that I did with the embossing powder. Here's another one of those leaves up close. Can see it's pretty shiny somewhat translucent and then here's one I used with the paper soft first to give it a gradient look and then I put that embossing powder over so it goes from light to dark there and I also was messing around and I tried it on the resin pieces that came in the embellishment kit and so that's how it looks and I also used some on some cheesecloth. I just ran this cheesecloth over the embossing ink pad. And then I put that on there and then dried it so it's kind of stiff. It's just another way to use it. And the last thing I did with the embossing powder was I actually just pressed this flower really hard onto the ink pad, which I don't suggest doing, especially these Kaiser Craft ones, because they are pretty inky. You can see I kind of messed up my pad because it's got this pink stuff all over it now but I did that and then I just dusted it with the embossing powder and although I'm not exactly happy with the way that it looks now I probably would make sure that I put the pad just on the leaves kind of just to brush it over or maybe even actually use this brush and then put the embossing powder on there but to dip the embossing to dip it in the embossing powder instead of pouring it over because there's some parts in there that I couldn't just get with the heat gun but the thing that's really cool about this is that it makes it hard and so if you're using it for altered projects it's not really going to flatten you can see it's I'm going to push down pretty hard and nothing's happening to it so that's just one way you can use the embossing powder and I know there are many other ways but those are just some things I wanted to show you and the next thing I wanted to show you was this Heidi Swap White Spray. This stuff is really cool. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it because I thought that I would just maybe spray it on some paper and see how that looked, but I really wasn't impressed with it. Here's some of the mauve colored paper from the kit and I put it on there and I wasn't exactly thrilled. but. Then I went back and I was looking through why I wanted this because sometimes when I want new products, I will make a list as to why I want them. I'm like, ooh, this will be good for this. And then I remember when it first came out that Heidi Swap had said that it's really good for making your vibrant colored mists very light. So I wanted to give that a shot. 
So I'm going to take a doily and I'm just going to put some vibrant color on there. I'm going to use the color Shine Georgia Peach. Or no, I don't because it's not working. Um, let's see, I have another color here. I'll use the one that's in Primrose. It's pretty pink. Wow, that's vibrant. And so now I'll just add some of this white. And you can just keep adding it as much as you want, as much as you want that pink to fade or any other color that you're using. And then I'm going to hit that with a heat gun. Okay, so that's how it looks with the color shine. But let's see how it looks with another vibrant color that's not color shine. Let's see. There's another doily. And let's use some Delusion Spray. This stuff is really vibrant. This is the Vibrant Turquoise. So let's see how the Heidi Swap White fares with this. I have to say, I really like the way that this is looking. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really like that the white makes it sort of milky and somewhat erases it a little bit from these doilies. I think it would have a similar effect on paper. I just really wanted to see how it looked on doilies. Okay, so I'm going to do another doily and I chose some Radiant Rain because these are really kind of translucent. And I have one in Sweet Whisper and I also wanted to use the Teal Zircon. And this is what it looks like when it's all dry. It's very faint. I really like the way that looks on all sorts of mists. Definitely want to try this out for yourself. It's just really cool. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is the Croco Crackling Color from Viva Decor. Again, matching perfectly with the kit. I already tried that out on a piece of cardboard just to kind of see what it could do. I wasn't sure. The first thing I did was I used a mask, and I used one that was really detailed, so it was somewhat fine, because I wanted to see if you could actually see the crackle. Let me see if I can... How much closer can I get to that? There you go. You can see that it is crackled, so you can put it as thin as you want, and it still comes out crackly, and it doesn't really matter if it's too thin. That's what I looked at. Okay, so if you just apply a thin coat, you will get a thin crackle. They're very small. And I just brushed this on really thick, and this is what happened. I actually took a heat gun to it, and it started to crack right away. And then I did this last night, and when I woke up in the morning, you could see that the cracks were a lot smaller and more defined. So it really does just take some time. And then I was just messing around, and I actually sprayed this with that Heidi Swap white spray just to see what would happen. Okay, so I just wanted to share with you what the consistency of it was. It's pretty thick, so it's not really going to slide around a lot under your mask. Of course, you still need to be careful, like you do with all other modeling pastes and stuff. It's not like it's embossing paste or anything, so it'll be a little runny when you get it on the mask with this palette knife. And so the last thing I wanted to show you, because I'm just kind of going to see this together with you, is if it looks crackly on one of these pieces that we got in the kit. So I just want to put somewhat of a light coat. I want it to be a little thick, but not too much. So this has been drying for about 40 minutes and there are crackles. They're kind of tiny, but it does crackle. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think that there are some other things that you can do with this. I think it would look cool on resin or just on any sort of die cuts. So those are some other ways that you could use the crackle paint. So that's all the different ways that I'm using the mediums this time. I'm sure I'll come up with some other things and I know you guys probably will too, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can do with these things. So let us know how you liked the mediums video and thanks for watching.